Leicester City is in fourth, just three lengths off these leaders. Been followed by Bauble Queen, who's now been taken back to the second last spot. And gaining a bit of ground from last is Whisper Louise. They're not going quickly, so she's making up ground very easily. They run now to the half-mile pole, and turning top is out on the lead, has it by just over a length. Been tracked by Miss Midagong, quite content to sit there in second. Then it's Celestial Kitten in the blue colours in third. City to City's in the fourth spot, and then back to Bauble Queen, who's now giving them six length start, and another three to Whispering Louise. They head past the three-eighths pole, and it is still turning top in front a length and a half and kicking on for home. Being chased by Miss Mittagong in the second position, Celestial Kitten at the rail, then City to City, Bauble Queen and Whisper Louise at the back. They're at the top of the lane and Turning Top's shooting away from them now. Turning Top shoots clear to lead it by two and a half lengths. On the inside, here comes Celestial Kitten, Bauble Queen on the outside coming fast. City to City's in with a shot too, but it's Turning Top holding on. Turning Top on the outside, Bauble Queen, Bauble Queen flying, Bauble Queen gonna get up. To beat turning top, Miss Mittagong finishes third, then it's City to City and Whispering Louise, Celestial Kitten was last. And Garrett Gomez, go crazy, go crazy, scores by a convincing half a length as David Flores not able to hold on with turning top. Miss Mittagon finishes third. The 9-5 the to five favorite City to City runs fourth at 9-5. to five. The long shot on the board was two six to one shots of which Miss Mittagon was one. So in this field of six, she had nine to five up through six to one. The first stakes victory for for Bobble Queen. Monday's holiday card, a, a one stakes race to bring you. This is going to be one of those down the hill turf races. Just a couple notes here. Unzip me will be the six to five favorite, but in here, Champagne Doro who going in was 0 for 10 since winning the 2010 Test Stakes at Saratoga. And away they go to an even beginning. Ms. Direction from the inside gate is very fast. Champagne, Doro, White Blinkers. Separate Forest has the red cap. Unzip me in the green right there too on the far side. Silver Rock shows speed as well. Now here's Ms. Direction, couldn't go at that pace, has dropped four lengths off the leaders, then we come back to up in time in the white cap. Then it's the grey wild mirror, in behind that, Javine. Last of all is Remit. They run past the half mile pole now and going on to lead them as Separate Forest. Separate Forest opens up on them, in fact, goes clear by just over a length. In the second spot, Champagne Doro unzip me and Fifth Commandment all tucked in there as well. Ms. Direction right behind the leading group. Then we come back to Silver Rock up in time now looking for somewhere to run and then the grey wild Mia. They come to the top of the lane, separate Forrester length, unzip me coming after her in the green cap. Champagne Doro can find no more. In the centre, Ms. Direction is running on gamely. Coming home, separate Forest, unzip me coming fast. On the outside, Ms. Direction coming home gamely as well, Wild Mia getting involved late, Misdirection flying, Misdirection perfectly ridden by Garrett Gomez, Misdirection came on the scene at the right time, wins going away, three-way photo then for second, Wild Mia separate forest and unzip me. I guess Garrett Gomez is the leader right now for the 2012 Eclipse Award. Garrett, let others win a race, would you, that we have on horses and courses, but as we've often said about these, I think, very exciting down-the-hill races at Santinita where you have the, you know, how about this, 21 flat. How about this, 42.75, 105.52, ladies and gentlemen, but off the pace horses. And Garrett Gomez timed it perfectly for the second choice. Now in six starts on the turf. Ms. Direction, who came out of a non-winners or two other than before winning the Monrovia on Monday. Six starts on turf, four victories, two seconds. While Mia finishes third and unzip me, the six to five favorite, dead heated with separate forest for third. And with the addition of blinkers and the down the hill turf for Champagne Doro, now zero for 11 since winning the test in the summer of 2010. Have to feel, have to feel as if retirement is on the horizon for that filly. Now, Mayor at five years of age. We're going to take a quick break. When we return, a handful.
for the big VA.